So Robin, we're here in the rapid prototyping department at Mercedes. I'm a bit confused as to what the difference between rapid prototyping is and 3D printing. So rapid prototyping is the department that we're in. Uh, 3D printers are the tools that we use to manufacture wind tunnel models and various other parts. So we've got a few different items here in front of us, Robin. I mean, what am I looking at here and do they all come from the same machine? We have multiple machines and different processes and different materials. This one's an SLA part. Uh, yeah. It's made out of HPC ceramic. Do you want me to come show you the machine? Oh, that'd be great, yeah. Make right. a lot more sense to think that yeah. way. <laughs> this is what we call an SLA machine, stereolithography. It's a 3D printer that uses light-sensitive resin and a UV laser to turn that liquid into a solid. So what we're doing now, we're building a flat surface, yeah. but the actual parts are getting taller by being more submerged into the body of resin. It's leaving just the top layer so, that we yes, can exactly. see. Yes, the, exactly. The working surface is always on the top of the resin. So how long are we looking at the lead time for the, the parts it's scanning here? OK, so what we're building here is bodywork panels, and uh, I think this is going to run for about 80 hours. 80 hours? 80 hours might be a long time for one part, but what we're building here is a collective part. You know, we're building maybe like 25 large panels. OK. And if you wanted to build small, intricate parts, you could build maybe 100, 150, depending on the size of them. It's making a lot more sense. Uh, yeah. Have you got any other machines that we can have a look at? Yeah, more of course. Materials? Right, more. So this is a multi-jet printer. This is the only machine in the department that can run dual materials within the same job. How does it achieve that? So these cartridges you see on the front, there's Elastico, which is a soft material, and you've got Vero, which is a stiff material. As they put each layer down, say half of it will be stiff white, and half of it will be flexible black, but they're built into the same component. Each layer is built into and on top of the next one. It so makes sense. it's integrated yes. into the part. I never realized exactly the purpose of rapid prototyping and where those parts necessarily came from on the wind tunnels. As anything in Formula 1, it's, it, it's always more than meets the eye at, at course, first. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for the, uh, the great explainer. You're welcome.